Welcome everybody. If you're watching this afterwards, hello. We got Steve here and we are pumping in some color on this ginormous piece here. Steve got in yesterday. Yesterday late. We got it lined out, came back this morning, packed all the black, started putting color in. It's uh, certainly not for the faint of heart. All right, let's see, let me plug this in. Huh. All right, let me get some stuff set up here. Plug the phone in, make sure we're rocking. How are we looking over there? Are we are uh, live. Okay. Welcome, guys. This is the piece we're working on today. Well, Batman, Joker, Robin, Riddler, the whole bunch here. And uh, we've been at it, like I said, several hours last night just to get it lined in. Uh, Steve came in from Detroit. Detroit, Michigan. So... We got today to get this done, so we've just been boogieing, boogieing, and uh, took a little break, came back, gonna go live. If you guys got any questions or anything like that, let me know. Uh, I got the boss in here with me, reading, uh, reading comments or anything, if there's anything. So, with that being said, I'm gonna get into work. As you guys show up here, let me know where are we from. Let me know where people are coming to join us from. I love hearing where people are from. Where are you at? You in the States? Where are you at in the States? You out of state? Here yeah. at says, what gun are you going to use? Guns. Uh, shoot, the biggest gun I can get. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm uh, using uh, the Bishop Juan Packer. I use the Bishop Juan Packer for all the lining and all the shade. Well, I guess no shading. Black fills, coloring, everything. The only thing I use uh, the shader for is purely shading. So if I'm not shading, if it's not black and gray, then I'm using the Bishop Juan Packer. You got some people all over going on. Yeah. You got the UK, New right. York, Oregon, Oregon, Newfoundland, Canada. All right. Philly, San Antonio, Texas. Okay, all right. Uh, you got West Michigan, Knoxville, Tennessee, not New York, Tennessee. Florida, Belgium. And it, the love keeps going. <laughs> Man, aren't you guys supposed to be at work doing something right now? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Thanks for, thanks for joining, guys. I promise I'll get the tattoo in just a minute here. You got a couple from Germany, too. Germany, sure, right on. Mm -hmm. It's cool to see all the, all the different people. It's such a great community mm -hmm. that it's awesome. All right. All right, see then. Alright, on to the purple. Purple, purple, purple. Siberia. Siberia? Holy cow! What the heck is weak? Boy, oh boy. That's some craziness. Probably not that crazy. But for me, it's pretty crazy. You got people on lunch break, people who are self-employed. I hope they're not taking that serious. I am literally just kidding. Okay. I watch YouTube all the time, so I can't. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's a fun piece, guys. This is a fun one. Uh, a lot going on in it, but certainly fun. How's the shot? Can they see what I'm doing, or can you tell what I'm doing in the shot? That you, that you see. No, that you see. You're right. Sure, come over. I don't want to touch the camera. Yeah. Because it was learning as I go with that camera stuff. Get the fit on with it with my gloves on. And it's just mm -hmm. nasty. I still have to do okay. Yeah, is that better? It's fine. Okay. Yeah, we had to put on some different music, guys, because of copyright issues, so... Still singing the good songs we had on. The classic tunes, yeah. I tell you what though, Steve is sitting like an absolute champ, guys. I know it not me. I'm not. This is not no chance I'd be sitting like this. No. 
No. Look, you my wife. <laughs> not a chance. Not you? No way. No, 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 no. No, no, I can't even let me feel like I'm a dog. Sorry. Guy. It's okay. Oh, and I'm using the uh, police cartridges. So for this uh, entire piece here, when it comes to uh, needle groupings, we used a uh, 11 round shader, five round shader, uh, seven round shader, pretty much all round shaders for all the lining. This person says, what size of a round liner would you recommend for doing the primary outline and which ink do you prefer? Uh, what primary out? Like just in general? Like any primary out? Just any outline? I'm, I'm thinking. Getting? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't say. I really couldn't tell you. A decent round liner to start with to use would be like a 7 or a 9 in my opinion. Don't go any smaller. I really have liked uh, 5 round shaders. They produce a pretty clean line. It's not as big as you probably think it's going to be. That's what she said. And, um, yeah, that's from that's for the boss right there. That's what she said. She's got constantly all the time. Uh, that's what she said. There's people over there. Anyhow. Yeah, so that's what I would suggest if you're unsure. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for hanging out. We're just going to be here for about an hour or so. Just say hi, answer a few questions. Uh, if you guys want to see the finished piece of this later, go ahead and check it out on the Instagram. Uh, there should be, I say should be, links in the, in the description of this live stream. If you uh, want to follow me. Um, if not, uh, so be it. But I'll be at daveinks.88 on Instagram if you want to again see this by later tonight or at worst maybe tomorrow I'll post it Andy B says Andy B see the boss is keeping you on track with this piece <laughs> yeah right she ain't been around man we, we've been at, we, we just dragged her out of her cave over there you know how bosses are they whatever they just hide now until everybody shows up then they bop out and take credit for everything god Mario says, any new info on the armrests you're working on? Um, no new info. Um, I just got to get a little bit more time so I can produce a few more of them. That's the truth, really, is I just haven't, I just don't have enough of them made yet. Uh, but I will put out a video soon, just kind of letting you guys know about them, just so, just so you're aware of them, I suppose. Um, so, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So what are you guys working on today? Anybody out there? What are you working on? What do we got on the docket? <laughs> Andy V. Yeah. Says you're brave giving the boss some grief online. Just wait later, pal. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. That's how you're doing for my people around. So I gotta get slapped around. Like whatever I want right now. So funny. So when it came out, I didn't know it was just going to give me a hard time, man. Right? She won't go back up. No, never mind. I cannot pronounce this person's name. They say, I'm actually working on a stencil for practice on some more fake skin. Oh, right on, right on. Good to hear. Practice on fake skin as much as you can, as much as you can. Don't be in any rush. Um, fake skin doesn't complain, you know what I mean? Neither does Steve. For being honest, I haven't heard a peep of, and I. Not, not that. Flinch. Not that this doesn't hurt, because I know it hurts. I mean, come on. Like, those people are like, tattoos don't hurt. Shut up, get out of here. Yeah, get in the zone. Yeah, get in the zone, yeah. And, yeah, I mean, I suppose Steve's probably like, I could quit at any time, but 
then you know you have a a partial tattoo for a while you know but it's coming along here it's looking fun it's a fun one it's a messy process but it is fun working on some fake skins huh? gonna do, try some realistic animals Oh really? Is that what they're working on? Yep. Oh dang. Ugh, I hate animals. Well, I don't hate it. I'll do anything. But it is tough, that, that, that genre there. Jerry says, sent an email on Sunday hoping to get your feedback. You ran out of time on live. Yeah guys. Then if you want, um, me and Andy will be going live on Sunday. We go live every Sunday. Not this Sunday? No, it's Father's Day. Oh, never mind, guys. Not this Sunday. It's Father's Day. <laughs> Jeez. All right, Andy, we're taking a break this Sunday. I forgot. Yeah. Um, anyhow, the boss has spoken. Yep, nope. Jeremy says, got a fishing memorial tattoo for a friend I'm doing Friday. I can't wait. Ooh, that was fun. That was fun. Can you pour me a little brown, please? Um... Okay, where are we on next? Now we're gonna go to the Where's club. That? Oh, we got one. Uh, like the normal part, the sable brown? Uh, yeah, sure. There should be another brown too, but that'll work. I can just use some white. Get the tone I'm looking for. But it is. All right, I'm just gonna hit this all this white. Everybody good in the chat? Yeah. That's good. Hey, if you just got here, let me know where you're where you're uh, where you're watching from. I love I love hearing where people are at. I don't know why, it's just cool to cool to see. That's good. That's good. Just, oh, good Asia and Mandy say, I'm currently working on my wife's cross cover-up, adding it to make her sleep. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah. we got Christopher from New Jersey and Jerry from Fort Worth, Texas. Ooh. New Jersey, huh? And UK. UK, yeah, we got... Chicago. Chicago. Gotta make crazy noises for everybody. Uh, Terrence is watching from Des Moines, Iowa. Oh, Des Moines, Iowa. I spent some time there, yeah. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. We were there last summer. What's that? So we were there last summer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, we did a... We went out there with the military for something, with the tanks or whatever, a while back. Like all desert, and then there's this boop, town or whatever. In the moon. Yeah. You've got East London, UK, Plymouth, England. Plymouth, England. Yep, Charlotte, North Carolina, oh, Washington. Charlotte. James is from here in Ohio. What? James? Yeah. Where is that, man? Uh, Nashville and Polska. Polska? I don't know. It's alright. And Nebraska. Nebraska. Nice, nice, nice. Well, thanks for thanks for being here, guys. He like said, I'm just gonna be live for a little while, just say hi, and uh, show you guys what we're working on. Games and Toys says, please tell him I'm sending killed pics of the black was critiqued a few days ago. I took that pic after it was done. It looks really good now. Okay. Okay, hard to, I feel bad because it's hard, I get so many messages sometimes, it's hard to tell what is what, and I do miss, or sometimes I'll look at somebody's message, and be like, oh, okay, let me get back to them, and then never do. So I do that too. 
still trying to take a look at that, see if I, if I see that. Nottinghamshire, UK, uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, Wisconsin. Yeah. All over. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> really cool. Mm-hmm. And Ohio, geez, please. Right. Retro games and toys says, what size mag are you using? Uh, depends on when you're looking. And right now, I'm, at, I'm using a 11-round um, shader. But I have two different mags I'm rocking right now. It's a 11-curve um, mag and a 19-curve uh, mag, number 10 bug pin needle. So, yeah. And I pretty much just kind of bounce back and forth depending on what location we're in and what we need to do. It will depend upon what needle we use. Uh, Andy B says, no live this Sunday, Dave. Does that mean I can go to bed at a normal time? <laughs> uh, I suppose, Andy, I suppose. You got a little free day then. I will be right back. Um, oh, yeah. Oh shoot! Okay, go. Uh, we're going to go roll windows up. He's going to roll windows up too. Oh, bit. Oh, jeez. It's like torrential downpouring right now, guys. Don't get that tattoo, what? Oh, he's running. Oh, I can. Oh, man's windows down. Oh. All right. Say a little prayer for the. Hey, if you guys are wondering how I clean my needles out, I'll dip them into uh, ink cap, but still, sometimes you come back here and just squirt a little bit just let it run out i'm sure not all of you are curious but some were yeah i got hit in the, with the rain you guys are just visiting thanks give the stream a like guys and uh we will see what's going on Micah says, my wife is starting to tattoo. I'm a dark skin guy. Is there any tips I can get to help her to know how deep to go? If you see this, can you ask him, please? Well, um, that's like the key. That's like the magic question, how deep to go in the skin. And uh, <laughs> I got you. You got wet, huh? I'll go and get your wife off here. Um, you're going to feel the skin. And you're going to feel the vibrations. You're going to kind of hear the skin break. Uh, it is, they'll say, sure, go two millimeters deep, but that's hogwash, if you ask me, because there's no way to know where that two millimeters is at, and yada, yada. So, um, man, it's tough, man. It's tough to tell you how deep to go. I'm going to try to put together a comprehensive video that can kind of explain it a little bit better, uh, because it's hard to put into words right here. I mean, if anybody can help explain to you, feel free to, but... Yeah, it's, it's, it's tricky. That's the thing. That's the thing. If there was a way to 100% tell you or show you how, believe me, I'd already done it. Um. Jeremy says, I got a trash polka theme raven and claw on the back of my head. What's your thoughts on head tattoos? Uh, if you like it, man, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I'm not sure my thoughts exactly. Be careful, though. Head is a... Is, it, are you, is he doing it himself? He's got it. He's got it. And he's just asking what your thoughts oh, on head tattoos oh. are. Oh, I think they're cool. I think they're cool. Well, I give credit to people who get them, too, so you got it. Good on you, man. <laughs> That's... Ouch, ouch, ouch. 
ouch, 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 ouch. No thanks, no thanks. Again, I've been talking, I don't know. Um, it's like the older I get, the less I, I, I don't know. Tattoos hurt more and more. I'm getting weaker. None your business. I like their comments. <laughs> That's their name. None yeah. Your business. Says, let's see how many likes we can get this guy for his videos. Right on, man. Or none yeah. Well, that's none of your business, but uh, yeah, that's cool. Let's see if we can hit a hundred, right? Can we hit a hundred? Don't do it for me. Do it for Steve, guys. Okay. <laughs> Steve's like, yeah, okay. That'll <laughs> definitely make it hurt less, won't it? It will. It will make his tattoo hurt less. I read that somewhere. Well, I gotta, I gotta, you know, I gotta. I gotta prove Andy wrong, you know. Not that he said it couldn't. He just said that uh, it's gonna take a lot of luck to get this done, and uh, we're not done yet. But I think we're on track to finish this sucker. Uh, he might not be able to feel his arm anymore, but I'm gonna do skin tones last, guys. We're gonna put skin tones in at the very end, I think. I wanna get everything else done. Uh, now we God forbid anything happens. Everything else is done. Skin tone is skin tone. Um, but I'll get all the color in here. Remember, when you're packing color, just you gotta take your time. Wipe it, take a look at the skin. You wanna try to find those openings see where it's tough especially these light tones you get the blood and plasma pushing through you kind of have to give it a good wipe take a look quickly because that it's going to start pushing back on you Terrence mckee says do you ever attend any of the traveling conventions no i don't do any of that stuff i just don't i, I would like to maybe i should sometime but i don't know it's not that i don't have time it's just I don't like being away from my family anymore, so I really don't do any of that stuff anymore. Or not that I ever did, actually. I never have. Never been to it. Not even been to a convention. Like, never even been a guest a person just walking around. Never even done that. I've been wanting to, but... Something's always came up. We've always yeah. planned to go. Oh, then no. it, something COVID comes up. COVID kind of put, a, put a, you know, a bit of a bind on that one. Oh, and somebody asked a while back. I didn't. I didn't answer. Um, mainly Eternal Ink, mainly, and uh, it's not because they're some sort of like the best. Um, I really like them, but mainly because there's a local place that I get my ink, and I can visually look at each color, you know, and that makes it easier than trying to order it online, in my opinion. Um, at least for me, anyhow. You know. Uh, let's see, let me put the round down here real quick. Uh, Mario says there's one in Charlotte this weekend. A lot of Ink Master guys. Oh, yeah? Charlotte, well, gas was so doggone expensive. And a babysitter. <laughs> and a babysitter. And it's Father's Day is coming up. I'm picking up my daughter on Sunday. Sunday, so. Yeah, I'd love to go. I want to just attend, just to be an attendee, you know? I think that would be most fun to me. You know? It's hard to get some reviews. Yeah, it's hard to get some Kayla says, loving those green toes. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they're greens can be kind of tricky in the skin because uh, but it's they're fun though when they when everything's working right there. Chase Jones says I had a piece done not quite as big as that one done three weeks ago down my ribs Ooh, buddy. it was a nightmare before Christmas oh, I thought piece. you were just gonna say it was a nightmare <laughs> seven hour session and my first ever tattoo at the age of 36 well, awesome for getting a tattoo later in life I think that's cool um, Seven hours, so that's pretty quick, actually. 
we got in this right now. Three hours yesterday, and then and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, We're already at seven hours. Stanley asks, what do you charge for uh, cover up? Like, what you charge for cover on my right shoulder? For a cover up? Uh, that's gonna. I mean, price is always very um, de determining on size, location, but then when you add a cover up to it, it you have to see the piece. You really have to sit down and look at it. I um, mean, I know there's people that could probably throw you a, a price just out of the you know out of left field, but I don't. Um, now it depends on the size, how old it is, just how much effort's going to go into making it happen. That's pretty much. What determines price and what opinion most of the time? Mario says, I live in Charlotte and still have to think about gas to go. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? GK says, Do you make your own gray wash or use premixed? And if so, which premixed gray wash do you use? No, I make my own, make my own gray wash. Um, I have plenty of videos on the channel if you want to check them out. Um, there's one video it's called I think like this changed everything and it's some gray wash some gray caps or whatnot are on the table um I have another video where I talk about making it but I've since changed it to the new one which is on that video and uh, what I do is I just use large caps and uh, you'll have to monkey with depending on the caps but um I think I linked the caps in that video so you know exactly what caps I'm using and um full cap one full black cap um, the next cap is 20 drops of black next drop 10 next drop next cap five next cap two and then one and then um, I put six drops of white just to kind of help me see the shade it's not opaque um, and then uh, and then add distilled water or witch hazel whichever you prefer and mix it up and that's my gray washes and uh, for this particular piece we're going to be using true grays as well in um, the joker's face so that the true grays you know um, I know a lot of you guys always ask about Mr. Reyes and whatnot that's what Mr. Reyes is using he uses true grays um, it's not washed down it is white so instead now I put like um, might be like five or six and let's say ten drops of black and then they fill the rest of the cap up with white and that will give you a lighter shade and then maybe you have the same cap and you put one drop of black and then you fill the rest up with white that would be like your lightest tone it's pretty similar in how you would make it in my opinion I'm no master at it that's for sure um, I would personally love to take Rick Mr. Reyes' uh, seminar um, that'd be fun but I haven't watched it again. I haven't really had the chance to get on there in a while. But I saw that he was doing that. So anyhow, let me wake this off real quick. Kayla says, question. I have about 30 different machines and I have felt my favorite I have felt my favorite for shading and lining. But is there a way to be able to distinguish a liner from a shader just looking at the machine? I'm, I apologize. You're going to have to read that question one more time. She's found her favorite machines between a liner and a shader. She wants to know if there's a way to distinguish the difference of them or with just the way they look to know which one's which. Is she using a coil machine? Are you using a coil machine? Are you using a rotary machine? Are you using a pen style rotary machine? Um, but the short answer is probably from me is going to be no. You're not really going to be able to tell the difference between each one. They're um, coils. They're coils, yeah. <laughs> Not by looking at them, in my opinion. You'll probably have to, uh... Oh, Andy asked if they're coils. My bad. Yeah, okay. So Andy asked pen that. style. Oh, the pen style? Yeah. Oh, no, you're not going to tell the difference. The only difference between, for me, between a, a rotary... I mean, a... Jeez, I can't even speak. Liner and a... Shader. Shader or whatever. It's just going to be the stroke, in my opinion. Um, larger the stroke... The, uh, um, the more it's going to be made for lining. Uh, 
But you, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. You can have a shader that you could shade with this machine. I've done it. Doesn't do just just fine in my opinion. Um, you just got to change your style up. You know, just gotta know that you've got a lot more of a punch in your hand. You've got more of a stroke, so you might have to adapt your hand, maybe slow your hand speed down. Um, but I wouldn't get too wrapped around the axle when it comes to is this a liner, is this a shader, is this a packer. You can literally use one machine and do everything. Um, I could use this machine to do everything. Uh, some people do. You could use, uh, you know, it's totally up to you. She says, okay, was just curious. No I problem. appreciate it very much. Yeah, no problem, no problem. I get it. Ryan Walker says, please say hi to Macy and Flick watching in the UK. Hey, hi, Macy. Hi, Flick. Thank you for your support. It's awesome. Thanks for watching in the UK. We're just packing a little bit of color here. Chase says, tears were flowing at some point for sure. I'm here to tell anyone the ribs are no joke when it comes to getting tattooed. Yeah. Well, anytime you're sitting for hours on end, nothing is fun anymore. Plus, your Steve, he's having a blast, guys. <laughs> having a blast over here, man. He's like, well, tattoo what tattoo? In my armpit right now? Not a chance. Oh, it's crazy how the nerves work. Don't run over my toes. Okay. This is a real downside of color. The only downside is just that it's kind of messy. And uh, you kind of learn to work through it and then wipe it off often and kind of get it just to where you got. And uh, yeah, I'm digging this one. And it's going to be a purple all behind this, guys. Packed in purple. Uh, so I think I'm going to start working on Joker's hair. I'm going to sit up a little bit. Yeah. Is that your drink on the desk? Yeah, that yeah, must okay. be. Must be. I'm just gonna wiggle this a little bit. All right, we're getting there. We are actually getting somewhere here. This is gonna be more and more fun to. <laughs> not fun getting, receiving the tattoo, but on the, on the watching, seeing it come alive has been fun. Um. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go ahead. And close that up. My guy, the boss, walked out for a minute. Got anything in this place? Then I was just getting on there. I'm gonna tell him nothing. All right, let's get in. My back step says, love the colors in that tattoo. Oh, Jester says, yes, colors are nice and vibrant. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Xavion says, what kind of machine do you use? Uh, it's a Bishop Wand uh, Packer is what I'm using for For, uh, for this tattoo, sorry, I'm trying to take a new one up. Uh, Bishop One Packer, and I use the Bishop One Shader again for shading. Can you pour me some of those uh, earth tone greens up there, please? Just pick, yeah, just pick three of them. Just gonna lay down a little bit of green base coat, and then just go back with the. Uh... Well, which part? Oh, his hair. Okay. Zubadooba. Are these three good? Sure. Why not? I didn't have to look. I trust you. If they're not, I just won't use them. Yeah, I like the Bishop One Packer, guys. It's got a good stroke on it. I, it does great for packing in large, you know, 
large liners, large shaders. Um, yeah, it does what I need it to do. How do you how do you know what colors to use? Um, I don't. I'm just gotta make it up. I mean, I know it sounds <laughs> ridiculous, but I'm, I'm King Steam. No, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just making the shit up. <laughs> no, you kind of have a gist of what you you know what colors you want. And there's so many colors in most things, right? So, I mean, there could I could put like 15 greens in this hair if I wanted to. So, if you grab a green and you go to put it in there, and you're like, ooh. Like, eh, it's not quite that. Then just put a couple marks, see how it is. It's going to actually just add to it if it's not the kind of green you like. It's probably, unless you go bananas and just, you know, start plastering it everywhere. Um, then it might get a little weird, but, uh, no, you should be good. Should be good. Just a little, try a little of this, try a little of that. So, uh... Until it starts to come together the way you want it. This one I want a little bit of the same green throughout, just so it kind of keeps it somewhat matchy, just a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna bust out a little more earthy greens and just keep uh, keep working it in there until until I start to get something that uh, I like. I hope that makes sense. Sorry. No, you're fine. Don't worry about it. You're fine. Do what you gotta do. Jennifer Queens, um, my husband wants to know what is your overall favorite needle to use? I just don't know what that means. Mean. Okay, um, the needle grouping that I use a lot. So obviously there's no one answer, but I've really fallen in love with five round shaders, um, just for lining and stuff. It's not going to make it too thick, but um, it goes in nicely. It kind of gives me a decent effect. Um, so I like I like that shader as a all around. Again, it's not going to give you a huge line, but uh, it's good for a lot of things. Um, when it comes to, uh, I also like a nine round liner, five round shader. 11 round shader. Um, I like uh, 19 curved mags. Anywhere, anywhere from a 19 curved mag up to like a 20, 21 or whatever, 25. Those are great. Anything in that size, definitely want to have those in your arsenal. At least, if nothing, for shading, you can pack color. Number 10 bug pin. Make sure they're bug pin. Um, well, you know, you can do whatever you want, but if you're asking me. Um, and a either 15 or an 11 curve mag. So you kind of get like a little bit of everything. You get a mid grade, a middle size being that 15 or 11. You get a large uh, curve mag. Um, and then uh, the same thing when it comes to lining. Get yourself a, uh, a big, a bigger needle. See, I like, I'm liking this frame right now. I like Andy, B, Andy B's comment. You can never have enough colors. And, and you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, you can definitely just kind of just put them in there. And it's just going to add to the effect whether you like it or not. Or not whether you like it or not. It's a stupid statement. Asian Mandy say, I normally use either Mom's Ink or sure. So Long Ink. Okay. Which one do you prefer, or which one do you recommend out of the two? Mom's. Your head's in the way. That's okay. My head's going to be in the way sometimes. It's all right. Um, yeah, I would prefer Mom's. I don't know anything about So Long Zinc. Um, I know that, you know, it's the same company that makes CNC, So Long CNC. I'm pretty sure they're kind of all related. Um, but, uh... I have never used their inks. I have used Mom's ink um, a while back, and it was all right. So if you're asking me, and I had to pick between the two, that would be my choice. But, uh, yeah, I take that for what it is, you know. Take that for what it is. Oh, Chafe says, how long would you keep an ink color before you wouldn't use it anymore once opened? Oh, they have expiration dates, guys. I hope that answers that question, Al. I mean, unless there's more to that, I'm not 
kind of blow that question off. It's a good question. I'm just not sure what you mean. Yeah, I've had to throw like literally thousands of dollars worth of ink. No, that's a lie. Hundreds of <laughs> thousands. Oh, really? So, uh, hundreds of dollars worth of ink away just because I bought too big of containers of it. And so when it went bad, it all you know expired at the same time, leaving me pretty much nothing. So be careful. Danik says, hey Dave, if you want to treat yourself, get the Acoos M1 tattoo machine. You will put your wand packer aside to collect dust on the shelf. Yeah, they offered me the machine, uh, gosh, probably four or five months ago. And the truth is, is I looked up how much it cost and I thought, uh, you know, I know my audience, guys. I know a lot of people watching are learning how to tattoo. And I thought, how am I supposed to, you know, bring somebody a thousand dollar machine that I don't know anything about, right? I'm not, never heard of the company, you know, I know they're a new company and they're doing fantastic, which I'm all for them. Um, but yeah, I could have could have had one for, for nothing if I wanted one, um, but I just kind of didn't do anything with it. I just didn't reply. <laughs> I replied at first and then I thought, you know what, nah, sorry guys, I mean, maybe I should have. It's usually how it goes. Um, I tend to, I know you guys are looking for, even if I bring something five or six hundred bucks, you know. Oh, you hear that thunder? Yeah, people are like, hey man, that's a bit much, so I try not to, uh, try not to, to do that, I guess you could say. Oh, Chef A, he, um, they're the ones I asked about the inks. Sure. Says the ones I got had no date on them, so I oh. wouldn't use them on oh, people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. If I didn't got a date on it, you might, yeah, it's probably for the best. Last thing you want to do is mess around with crappy inks, man. A crappy machine or whatever, or cheap machine, that's that's no problem. It's a motor, it's not that big a deal. Um, don't mess around with cheap inks, in my opinion. That's just a surefire way to, to end up in a bad spot. Danik says, that's why I said if you wanted to treat yourself, LOL, it is expensive. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm just thinking to myself right now, like, well, like, you could have just had it for nothing. Now I'm not going to go back and buy it, you know. Uh, but who knows, you know? Who knows? I said I wasn't going to... I was happy with the machines I had. Then I went and bought the wands. And I just really like the wand series. Not to say that there's anything wrong with the... The other one he's talking about there. But. Jeremy says, tried the mast saber. Any good? Uh, no, I haven't tried any of the mass machines. Somebody let me have one to try uh, from a local shop here. And um, I uh, I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it. I heard it's kind of weak, but I don't know if that's the mass saber. I think that's the, uh, I don't know what it's called. I can't keep up with machines anymore, guys. I really can't. I have one that's sitting up here that's been up here for about a month now that I'm supposed to review from. Uh, Bronk, Bronk, something, um, and I just haven't had the chance to, uh, but I do want to give that machine away, so I will hopefully be reviewing it soon, just so I can give it to one of you guys. It's going to do better than sitting on the shelf over here. It's nothing to say it's a bad machine, but it's tough because um, I'm going to use it with the machine I like, and that's, you know, the wands. So if anybody wants any company send me machines, I will just kind of do a quick box opening, test it out real quick, you know, see how it, make sure it's not complete junk, and then give it away. So yeah, that's pretty much the only reason why I do, I take on stuff anymore from companies. It's pretty much just to give it away. Uh, Andy B says, I have a mass saver, a wireless 3.5 millimeter stroke. They're okay, but have a very soft hit on the skin. There you go. Your um, where was the question? Ethan says, what advice do you have for a beginner tattoo artist? I just started three months ago. Uh, shoot, don't be in a rush. Don't be in a rush. Don't be in a rush. And uh, don't beat yourself up. Um, start with some fake skin. Take your time and make sure, I mean, if, I didn't do this, but this is the advice I give people is uh, take your time, you know, I 
again, I just said it, don't be in a rush, but it's the truth. Don't be in a rush. Um, mess around with the fake skin for a while. Play around with it. Don't, uh, don't do a couple things and then just jump right out of it. I know it gets tempting to want to just jump right into skin, but get comfortable with your machine, get comfortable with everything you're doing. Then I would say start worrying about uh, getting into uh, tattooing skin or whatnot. Um, I know it's not all the advice you need, but uh, my brain's processing a bunch of things right now, so that's about all I can spit out to you. Watch other people. Watch all the videos. Don't watch mine. Watch. There's tons of channels and videos, and you know, um, everybody's got something to share, so uh, check them all out. But I appreciate that you uh, support the channel and watching the videos on that chat. Brandon says, as a kid, my uncle drew cartoon characters on walls while he framed houses. That's Inspired cool. me to want to draw earlier on. What got you to do what you do? Uh, well, when I was a kid, I think, like, nowadays, kids have so much access to so much stuff, but I was just, you know, I know this is scary if you're a child, but I was bored, and so... <laughs> you learned that the kid's bored anyway. Yeah, I know, I was, I was bored. <laughs> the humanity, and so I would... And not that I didn't have stuff to do, I had plenty of stuff to do at home. We have tons of stuff. We can go outside and ride, ride four-wheel, you know, whatever. It's not like I didn't have things to do, but, you know, every kid's just bored because, and, um... So I would draw, and um, I pretty much was making tattoo stencils before tattoo stencils was even thought up in my brain. I would find something, a picture, I would grid it all out, and, and then I would just copy it pretty much, and um, I used pencils, and my dad, you know, taught me a few things, and I just kind of carried on like that, and uh, yeah, and then I kind of won some competitions and but again I was just a kid and what have you and uh drew all the time then when I joined the Marine Corps I pretty much gave it up because what was the point you know why was I going to be what you know literally what's the point of of drawing anymore I just didn't see a purpose in it that's what really kind of sucked for a long time so anyhow what's up prop dusting says this is like watching Saturday morning cartoons in your tidy whities while eating a big bowl of cereal. That's right. That's insanity. I know. Okay. I'm not that slow. Uh, well, I don't. I don't know. Uh, 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 Super Dave, are you keen Dave. in doing portraits? If so, who is your favorite artist of all time? Well, when it comes to portraits, it's got to be David Vega, and. Uh, I don't, I, again, I really don't spend my time watching um, people's work, really, I know. but uh, I have watched some of his stuff, I, you know, I do follow him, and, and they're just amazing, 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 what that man can do, and so, um, yeah, if it comes to portraits, that's the man, and tomorrow we're tattooing, uh, Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Monroe, pretty much about the same size here, but it'll be a black and gray piece, um, so that'll be interesting, and no, I don't do a lot of portraits, because, well, people have really asked for them, but I'm certainly ready to do them, and I'm looking forward to doing that one tomorrow, so. Okay. Sorry if I'm yeah, you can just say name. Al. Al. Okay, Al. Al. Alright, he says, I've watched a lot of others doing tattoos, but I keep coming back here. Hey, I like that. I like that. Okay. Oh, it's not because you feel bad for him. Kayla says, I have a friend who has a horrible attempt of a peacock she wants fixed or covered. Ah. If I send it into email, would you try and do a live for ideas of what could be done, if anything? Um, uh, possibly. Possibly. Sure, sure. Maybe, maybe me and Andy can do something like that. That would probably be cool. That might be cool. 
Uh, Kayla says, it seems unfixable to me. It's really bad. Someone messed her up. Yeah, I get that. No, it's, uh... Yeah. Well, if you want to get inspired, you can watch Mr. Ray as you know. <laughs> And it, you know, it's different. It does lack some some things, but I mean, geez, the leaves, I'm not going to... I think it's fantastic. Most of it. So, yeah. John, 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 John. Sure, send it on in. We'll uh, happily... Hey, look, can I have that, that, that... Remember that skin tone? That, like, pinkish... Uh, whatever it is? Um... Yeah, it should be somewhere. Yes. Right there. This one? Yeah. Alright, thank you. Hey guys, if you want to give this stream a like, I'd really appreciate it. How long we've been? 50 minutes? Alright, we'll probably go for just a little bit longer here, guys. So, um, if you've got any other questions, anything you want to say, get them in now. Because I'm going to have to start, uh, take a break here. Because I'm going to have to make my, uh, true grays to, uh, start putting in this one. And that's going to take me a couple minutes. And, uh, so yeah. But again, if you guys want to check this out later, you can check it out on the Instagram, on the Facebook. I'm just looking at my color. Okay, sorry. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Jay. <laughs> TJ says, are you going to live stream it tomorrow? Live stream what tomorrow? The Marilyn Monroe. Well, maybe if you guys want me to, maybe. Um, I'll, I can certainly live stream some of it. Um, Andy B says, well, Kayla Messip said, sweet, sending it now. I'll title it cover help. There you go. Oh, geez, you're sending it now. Hmm, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I'll hopefully... And Andy B did say, just remember, not every messed up tattoo can be fixed 100%. Oh, yeah, that's true. For sure, for sure. Yes. Uh, yeah. And, and the other thing is, too, is they might be able to be fixed, but not everybody's going to be willing to fix it because of the effort it's going to take, you know, and you know, not everybody is proficient at cover-ups. You know, I wouldn't say I'm proficient by any means at cover up but I will certainly give it my all and do everything I can to make sure I cover it up, but certainly not proficient. Uh, Zanuck says, my sister had an Edward Scissor hand tattoo. Oh, I offered to do a blackout if Johnny Depp lost in court, but he won. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, that's awesome. that's awesome. Kayla says, I'm not in any rush, just whenever you get around, get time, brother. I appreciate all you do for us. Yeah, no problem, Mom. Um, like I said, I'm always afraid that I'm going to forget, and that might happen. It might happen. I just want to be straight up frank with you. Um, sometimes I forget to pay my bills, so, I mean, come on. Doesn't happen very often. If it is, it's just a couple, like a day or so late. But how you doing, Steve? <laughs> I'm doing good. This is fucking finishing me. They look like a joker hat. Like a greenish gray. Like a kind of like a You going to use gray wash or are you mixing up a white wash for faces? Yeah, I'm gonna do like a true gray. So it's going to be um like uh we're gonna have pure white, then we're probably gonna have another cap with like five drops of black, the rest filled up with white, then another cap with maybe like 
10 drops, maybe two drops. Just gonna mix a few shades up, pretty much. And then just gonna shade it like a wood, like back in color almost, you know? Um, at least that's the, that's the idea at this point. Uh, so not really like a wash, more like just a, sorry my head's gonna be in the way of the gym. We'll also be putting together a short video with this, guys. Uh, just, just some clips of uh, Steve being here, you know, whatnot. So look out for that. I could not. I mean, it's been, it's been fun. Asia and Manny say yes, please live stream it tomorrow. Andy B says please no live stream tomorrow. I have five tattoos on <laughs> LOL. Nothing will get done here. Oh, uh, no. andy has been busy, too, over there. Yeah. He's been busting away. Uh, just knocking them out, man. Knocking them out. Uh, all right, let's get this white one here. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do now. We're going to we'll stay on for a few more minutes, guys. I'm going to go ahead and start packing in some purple. Um, just in the background here, some deep purples, and uh, I'll probably end with the grays after we get off the stream here. So let me get that going now. Just stream a like, guys. Support, uh, support what we're doing here. It does help out. Um, if you guys are curious, I did use triple black for all of the uh, all of the black fills, guys. Triple black. I said, well, heck with it. I don't really see the difference between standard black and triple black. So let's use it. Just because. Asia and Mandy say the Joker has like a hazel, like hazel eyes. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that's kind of what you were saying. Kayla says, please add finished picture when you are finished. I do no social media anymore, so I can see, so I can't see your Facebook or IG. Oh, well, that's where I posted them. I don't know. They're going to get posted to, uh, my IG and Facebook, but it might not be till tomorrow, guys. It might not be till tomorrow. Um, so no problem. Just just stop on back by the uh, by the channel tomorrow, and I'll probably have them posted. I'll post it kind of early, uh, around maybe 10 tomorrow or something. Andy B says, "Yep, last four days, Dave will." have done 18 banger tattoos. Hell yeah. Been like a street shop at our place and loved every minute. That's awesome, dude. It's like its own fun right there. And it's fun. Uh, Shell says, coming together, it's looking good and really co colorful. I like it. Well, it's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. TJ says, did you design this piece or was it brought in to you? Nope, we designed it. I say we because me and the boss. <laughs> Yep. Yep, yep, yep. A fun one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like it all right now. Heck yeah. Ages and Mandy say I tattoo and watch y'all. That way I can see the techniques used and while I'm tattooing my on the wife. Hey, there you go. I don't know that. There's so much information out there nowadays. Um, but there's so much that you can find yourself overwhelmed and rushing things and like um, tattooing things maybe you're outside of your realm too soon. So don't be afraid to, to do small bangers, you know, just have a good time and Make them clean, as clean as you can get them. It's tricky.
David says, hey man, I'm from Ecuador. Ooh. Follow you and I learn a little technique from you. Oh, well, you learned a lot though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nah, that's awesome, dude. I'm glad. I think it's wild how one get guy in a in a little little tiny shop in Ohio here can um, interact with so many people out there all trying to do the same thing. Oh, I like Kayla's message. Yeah. I have our LOL. I like having the boss lady there with you. I she deserves too. a big check or a nice date night every time. Oh, every whoa. time she whoa. helps you. I'm gonna shut this stream down. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, guys, guys, come on! Man. What are we doing? What are we doing? That's funny. I like that comment. You need a moderator in there to make sure these crazy comments aren't getting posted. Huh. No, no, they're right. They're right. Yeah, still shout out to more or less uh, Steve, man, because we are just grinding away, guys, like all day. Yesterday, lined it for about three hours, went and took a nap, came back, well, went to bed, obviously, came back the next day. And, uh, yeah, just been, just been rough. B says, Kayla, I agree with you. That's because my boss works with me and I have to do it. So why should Dave get away scot free? <laughs> I didn't know what? <laughs> From you, Andy? Of all people, man. I'm kidding. That's funny. Uh, Jake is kind of jacked. Says, <laughs> Jake is kind of jacked. <laughs> Been practicing on fake skin, but I am afraid it's nothing like real skin. Sure. Also try to put the fake skin on curved surfaces or 3D prints of mine. Is there anything you recommend recommend before making the jump? I mean, how long have you been practicing on fake skin? Because I hear people, I've been practicing on fake skin, I've been practicing, and, you know, it's been like two weeks and they got, you know, a few pieces together. Because uh, the more you put in, now the better off you're going to be when you go to do real skin even though they're not the same i promise you'll be better off so no there's really smart start small and tattoo yourself that's my personal advice to those who are trying to jump into it danik says dave is getting pushed into a corner here <laughs> right come on they know man. you they know you're due for a date night oh don't god because i've been telling them guys like look i'm never going to take my Wife out on a great date. Mm-hmm. Right now, because I haven't been talking about doing it. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ooh, Asia and Mandy says, I'm always comfortable with trying new techniques when tattooing, and the boss lady deserves the royal treatment of a feast and a good date night. <laughs> oh, Lord. You're get? the one that wanted me down here. <laughs> I know, because I can't read and tattoo at the same time. And because I love you. I love you, uh, too. Ooh, I like this one. Kayla says she needs a date night or buy her a spa day package. I would love the spa day package, man. I bet you would. Where are these people coming up? Where? My goodness. Andy Spee says, Danik, yep, he is. He is. Let's keep it going. I feel expensive date night coming up. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I love this. Okay, what have we done? Danik says steak and lobster. Steak and lobster. This is funny. Yes, so. Uh, do you even like steak and lobster? Yes. <laughs> uh, it's duh. Okay. <laughs> Andy V says no more new machines, Dave, until spa day paid for. Oh man, what, you know what? That's the quickest way to get yourself a 
whatever the heck you want. Dude, put I a, would love a spa day, man. Put a, put a capoose on, whatever the word is on. I have no doubt they would, huh? Nah, I still... They're just good people, that's fine. Yep. Yeah, anything because it's across the pond over there, nobody can... No, 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 safe over there, huh? Nico says, question, when doing the first outline over the stencil, do you use any inkies type product, or do you try and keep skin as dry as possible? Yeah, I use inkies, uh, green glide. Um, but, you, I mean, truthfully, it's no better than, in my opinion, um, than Andy or Vaseline. If you got one of those, I mean, I think that it works just as good, at, or Andy and Vaseline work just as good as Inky, excuse me, in my opinion. Andy B says, Spa day with steak and lobster lunch sounds like the perfect treat. And then he says, hope I'm safe here, Dave. Oh, you're fine, Andy, you know. Hey, uh, there, old spa lady. Could, uh, could you pour me some uh, light pink purple when you got a second? When you're done reading all the spa comments. That just, that just got me thinking. Alright, what color you want? Light purple. Light purple. Okay. Alright, we'll let everybody know we got about 30 minutes and then we're gonna jump off, alright? Well, I guess I just let everybody know. I'm just literally saying. TJ says Taco Bell. <laughs> That's right, TJ. Where's TJ? Give me somebody give TJ. And then a round he says, I'm one. kidding, LOL. Oh, TJ. <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh, shit. This lid wasn't closed all the way. Oh, no. Oh, what's happened, guys? Thankfully, it's not. I went oh. through the paper towel. Oh, okay. needle brand you use it bro police cartridges these are i think made by so long they're well yeah yeah so long i think is like the main home original brand of them uh, but they're their police version of them and uh, i really like them actually but i will be trying some other brand andy was telling me about uh pretty good price and whatnot i haven't gotten to them yet but uh maybe in the next few weeks i'll look into getting an order in of See if I can get them, try them out. I don't remember what they're called. I've written down over there, I'm sure. Obviously, Andy was telling me to try them out, so he'll probably be able to let you guys know. But uh, yeah, I like these police cartridges for now. I don't know why they call them police cartridges, but they do. That's what they're called. William says, Thanks for checking my work. It pushed me to try harder. Oh, Cheers, awesome. Dave. That's awesome, man. Right, I, I, like I said in the, in the videos, guys, I hate doing those critiques because, I don't know, I just don't feel like, who am I to critique somebody else's stuff, but it's what you guys want, so that's what I do. Asian Mandy says, more like a queen's royal feast oh my gosh, a steak, so still lobster, and shrimp. The steak should be at least a 72 ounce cowboy cut T-bone steak what about two happening? inches thick on the cut. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what are we doing? They hate me. They really hate me. Here I am. That is so oh funny. Oh my goodness. Angela says, oh, hey geez, Dave, okay. been watching for a while. <laughs> this is a great piece. Oh, well thank you. We got some Thank you. Must be new to the chat, huh? <laughs> uh, welcome. Welcome. Uh, 
glad you're enjoying it. I think it's going to be fun. A lot, a lot of color here. A lot of color. Kayla says I started something. Oh, she did? It's all good. It's all good fun. I agree. Uh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. 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 Ooh, I like Williams. Oh, I'd say Spall oh. Day and a steak with a weekend away. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, get that. No, I'm kidding. Peace out, home skillet. Peace out, home skillet. No, I don't like the idea of being away from the boys. Yeah. Danik says, I think Dave will hire someone else to read him to chat <laughs> all these tattoos. Sush Inc. says, do you like the flux? I really, I recently went to a convention and almost everyone was using it. I see a lot of people using it. I don't use it. I don't really much care for it. I've, I've heard people have issues with it. Um, it's a hard hit machine I hear, but no, I haven't heard anything good. And, you know, FK's not really been super the greatest company to get behind right now. Danik says, I think next live tattoo, we will hear the client read the chat for Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy, no. Oh, man. That's funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, um, the boss is having a good time. That's a good thing. Yes. And then that keeps her wanting to read my chat, guys. Which is what I need. Darren says, are you making a video of looking at tattoos soon? Just wondering. Uh, the critiques, I think, is what they're referring to. Uh, well, I don't really make videos about that too much. I pretty much just do the live. We go live with that a couple days a week or once a week and then maybe on uh, Sundays. This Sunday is Father's Day, so we won't be live this Sunday. Um... But yeah, I will be doing those here and there throughout the week. So make sure you got your notifications turned on so that you know when that happens. That's just going to happen whenever I get a minute or an hour. I just jump on the live real quick, uh, open up emails. And I look at them by a first come, first serve basis. So um, yeah, if you're there and you email me as soon as we go live, then you'll you'll probably be on the on the the, the stream. If I can get my words out. So Danik's last comment was about having the client read the next live stream. Yeah. Andy B says Danik will that will work out cheaper for Dave. By the end of this stream, <laughs> Dave will be bankrupt. LOL. Yeah, we're playing the lobster and all the food that apparently Alicia's gonna be eating. Right, the spa day. Shoot. Right. Shoot. Right. Don't have to do it. <laughs> Mr. Contreras says, what stroke and voltage are you using for your packing? Oh, I see. Well, I've got to sit up now. i got to try to get it all back here. Yeah. Um, so what voltage I'm using? Uh, seven volts with the Bishop One Packer. Once we get this purple back there, then all we got left is uh, the face. A little bit of yellow in the sun back there. The gray in the suit. Yeah, gray in the suit. Yeah, we'll take a break after purple. Alright guys, once we're done packing the purple, we're going to say goodbye here, and uh, yeah, we'll keep moving, but uh, we'll be gone. I have to make some money, guys, because now i got a paper steak and lobster, and apparently spa. Heck yeah. Alright, let's see. Carrion 
says, how long been tattooing so far on this piece? And also, has it been done in two sessions? Oh, I mean, Steve, we're just talking about how long it's been. Um, I think we're at seven hours right now. Something like that. About seven hours so far. And ooh, Steve got in late last night. Around 7.30, we got the stencil on. And... Uh, we spent oh, about two and a half, three hours lining it all out last night. And then uh, and he came back today around 10 o'clock, and we've just been uh, working at it since. Uh, been going pretty decent so far. Uh, of course, Steve is like a rock, so it's, I know it hurts because it, it hurts. That twink does not hurt. But he's sitting fantastic, guys. So, give the stream a like for for Steve. Andy B says, the color work is looking awesome. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, it's a real fun one to just kind of look at. It is. Henry says, any machine on a budget with a 4.0 stroke or more the, or more the you know? Uh, I think they, and you can, there's lots of machines with a 4.0 or more stroke. Um, there's plenty, like CNC has plenty of machines that you can even get cams. So if you already have, I only say CNC because I use them for a while. Um, if you have a machine of theirs already, they probably make a, a new cam for it to go up to the four millimeters um, just look into it um, I know that uh, some of these C and the um, the Wii series they send them off with um, the different camps so. but yeah I mean guys in the chat help them out I know that you got I know that there's plenty of other um, machines than that that's for sure Sush Inc. says, can you explain what's going on with FK Irons? I hear artists say it's hard to get behind this company with what's going on. Oh, uh, they just make, they just kind of, uh, just kind of made crap products and we're selling them, um, in my opinion. We got used to their name and uh, just kind of let their name go to poop. Uh, but a lot of people like them, you know, a lot of people like them. I don't, I don't, I don't. They made, uh, they had some really nice machines. Um, a lot of gimmicky stuff they were doing for a little while there. Uh, but, yeah. Just, just, uh, I mean, I, I support probably companies that aren't the greatest, really. So, I mean, it's not like I can really beat anybody up for them. Um, they're just a little overpriced and gimmicky. But everything right now seems to be pretty, pretty pricey. That's why I said, if you guys know of any decent machines that in the chat that we want to share with each other that you tried and true, you know, used and enjoy, definitely do that. Help each other out because I have not really used a lot of, I mean, I have whatever you've seen on the channel and, you know, I've tested out or used. Uh, uh, the machines are getting a little bit wild. They're more and more wild these days with all the different stuff they are supposed to be able to do and gives and all that jazz. And, you know, right. Um, there's two questions. Sure. Where do you get your wireless machine? Or where did you get your wire wireless uh, machine? Oh, good lord. Uh, where did it work from? Mm, like needle jet? No, I don't know if it's needle jet. Ultimate tattoo supply, maybe? Might have been there. Uh, I honestly can't remember. I have to go and, uh, and check. Uh, but I have to go back in my emails of ways to find out. That's a good question. I will hopefully look into that and let somebody know, but no, I don't really recall exactly, exactly, exactly where I got it from. She also asked, the companies. also, do you switch your needles while switching color, or do you use water to clean the color out of the needles? Yeah, you just use some water. Um, unless you have, you know, only using a few colors, and you want to have a different needle for each color, that's fine. But if you were doing something like this, you would have a lot of needles and um, 
because I'm using like five different needles already just for the sizes and whatnot. And then you and then if you were using a new color, one for each color, you would just have a boatload of them. And it would just be way too much, so. William says, do you like Cheyenne machines? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't used it. I've used the Hawk. I have the, it's right over there. Um, I liked it. It had a nice hit. I think it preferred to... Uh, for shading more than anything because it had that nice hit, like nice smooth hit. Um, but when I was learning, I got that uh, the uh, Q2 to try to find something that was more budget friendly for a lot of people who were asking. And it was budget friendly, and I really actually started to enjoy it more than I enjoyed my uh, Cheyenne Hawk pen. But that's because I was interested in more of a harder hit back then, and that Q2 was giving me that, and that's why I kind of leaned that direction more so. But I uh, know I think you know, it's not wrong with Cheyenne, she can make a decent product. Um, I haven't used any of the products other than the Hawk, which I again say I, I like. So, I guess that's all I got Bruce to say. asks, Do the needles dull after a while? Yeah, yeah, they do. Yep, um, just naturally. We, I will switch them out, um, which I've already done that once, so I should be good for the remainder. I mean, you're not really, I don't know that you're really going to be able to see it or whatnot. I just, if I'm doing a larger piece, I will just naturally um, grab, after a while, just grab a, uh, a new batch of needles. Uh, Chrissy says, do you prefer using Derma Shield or Aquaphor for tattoo aftercare? I use Recovery Derm. And then I just let my clients know to use an unscented hand lotion. Um, I have a video literally explaining exactly what I would do. I do for uh, tattoo um, healing. And if I, use re if I use a derm, the derm will go on for 24 to 30 hours. You peel it off, clean it with uh, um, soap, uh, antibacterial soap, and just keep it clean for the first couple days. Don't put anything on it, just keep it clean. And then uh, <clears throat> once it starts to get itchy or about the third day or so, then I will uh, tell people go ahead and put up just a little bit of lotion on as needed, you know, but uh, now you're better off, less is more when healing a tattoo. People try to do too much and um, too much goop, too much cream, too much all that stuff. It just slows the process down and makes it harder, more apt for infection, if you ask me. Um, but again, all that's just my opinion, my thoughts. Uh, yeah, so take it for what it is. Uh, Chrissy says, do you prefer using the I know, it's going to hurt, man. Yeah, there's just no way around it at this point. Yes, they do, especially, I mean, it's a lot of, a lot of getting packed in there. But, uh, yeah, we're literally gone. We're a couple hours away from being done. Or less, you know, we got to do the face here. A little bit of Batman, yellow sun, bust out the white, put some white around the bats, a few spots here and there. Yeah, and then we will be done. So we'll just kind of put the camera real quick before we say goodbye, guys. I'm just going to roll his arms. So you can kind of, there we go. There he is. Bam. A little pow. And boom down here. Joker back there. So, guys and girls, I appreciate you guys hanging out with us for a little while. We're going to take a break, mix up some new batch of tones. And, uh, again, if you want to see this, link in the description should be to where my Instagram and Facebook are at. If not, DaveInks.88 on Instagram and Death Punching on Facebook. Guys, thanks for being here. Uh, thank you, Steve, for uh, being cool with us going live. And have a good one, guys.